So in, in a power station, you know, we have a lot of things that are very hot and things that you're trying to cool down. So there does seem to be capacity to use thermoelectric technology. But you're proposing a, a slightly different way, not using the difference between heat and cold to generate electricity, but something else. How would you introduce or how do you think we could introduce thermoelectric technology into a power station to make it more efficient? Yes. One of the things that Laurie touched on is the, the semiconductor thermoelectric generators. One of the properties of these thermoelectric generators is that, uh, as Laurie described it, if you apply a temperature difference, then you will generate a voltage from them. But if you apply a voltage to the, the same material, the same device, you can actually use it to shift heat from one side to the other. And in the context of the power station, in the condenser of the power station, whereabouts the, the, the used steam is converted back into water, as that steam gives up its energy and, and condenses the latent heat of evaporation, by using thermoelectrics, we can actually capture some of that energy and re-inject it back into the power plant rather than rejecting it to the atmosphere. So you're talking about actually taking the, the heat and putting the heat back into the system to, to generate a bit more electricity again? Yes, it's, it's very low-grade heat, but it's more um, sort of conceptually thought about as the energy released as the steam gets converted back into water. So this would mean enthalpy. So this would mean you'd basically get kind of more bang for your buck. So for the amount yes. of coal that you're burning, you would en end up getting more electricity out the other end. Correct. You would end up having to burn less coal for a given amount of electrical output from your generators.